This is my dirty bell housing. And before we clean it, I want to talk to you about today's sponsor. Super clean. They're sponsoring this video because they sent us stuff in the mail and I'm really anxious to try this stuff out. And they're pretty cool. They sponsor race cars and stuff and we love race cars here. So without me yapping anymore, we're going to see if super clean can handle this super dirty bell house. The instructions tell us to cover it with super clean, appropriate strength, allow time to dissolve, don't let it dry, rinse thoroughly. All right, what you see there is no scrubbing. All we did is spray some super clean on it and rinse it off with the hose once it sat for a minute. And anywhere that it wasn't caked on an eighth inch thick, uh, it was taken off immediately. So we're gonna scrape this up a little bit and then see uh, with the second pass with super clean what it can do. Okay, we got the big stuff scraped off. We're gonna try one more pass. The last time we only let it soak about two or three minutes. We're going to let it soak a lot more this time and see what this stuff can do to it. After some soap and scrub, we're going to rinse her off and see where she's at. All we have is a few little spots with some grease clumps in it. Once we get those out, she'll be looking like brand new. For a 30 year old bell housing, that really ain't bad. I'm pretty happy with the super clean, pretty happy with the super clean bell housing, pretty happy with the super clean hat and shirt. Thanks guys. And uh, get some. Get some. Don't forget to mention it's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this stuff's for sale. I think they hit Walmart now. No, the bell housing's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> we want to sell the bell housing. <laughs> By the way, if you're looking for a bell housing for a G360 transmission on your first gen Dodge Cummins, I got one. It's pretty damn super clean. Hit me up for details. And uh, see you next time, guys.